Do you want to flip your data like pancake where you want to convert your data from rows to column and columns to row? In this video, I'll show you how to use Power Query where you can use transpose, pivot and unpivot to solve this problem. Hi, my name is Meer Kamdar and I'm your tutor at officetechskill.com where we teach professionals how to become productive in their workplace. You can download the file from the description below. Click on this table. Click on data. Click on from table range. We want to import this data into Power Query. Now we want to convert the data from rows to column. For example, all the data in the region column is currently showing in rows. We want to show them in columns and the data for offline and online should be showing from columns to rows. Go to the home tab. First, we'll bring the header from the header row to the first row. So use headers as first row. And now we will transpose the data. So click on transform, select transpose. And now we will bring the first row to the header row go back to home, click on use first row as headers. As you see, now the data is transposed from row to column. Click on load, close and load to and select only create connection. Press OK. Sorry for interrupting this video. I have a special offer for you. I have a free Excel course on my website. The link is in the description below. Please check it out to learn more. Now back to the video. Let's define what is unpivot. Unpivot transformation is the opposite of pivot transformation. It allows the user to take a table with multiple columns representing the same data and transform it into a table with a single column containing the data and another column indicating the original source of each piece of the data. Unpivot helps to flatten data to build a report or a table. Go to the Unpivot tab. Click anywhere on the worksheet. Go to Data. Select from table range. This will import the data into Power Query. Now we are trying to unpivot the data. All the columns that you see from Asia all the way to Sub-Saharan Africa, currently they are displaying in column format. We want them to display in a row format with the region name as well as their value for online and offline. There are three ways to do it. Let's go one by one. So first select Asia, press Shift, go all the way to Sub-Saharan Africa and select Sub-Saharan Africa. This will select all the columns except region. Go to the Transform tab. Click on Unpivot Columns and select Unpivot. Now the data is unpivoted by region and by offline and online. Now delete this step and we'll do it the second way. Now just select region. Go back to the Transform tab. Click on Unpivot Columns dropdown. Select Unpivot Other Columns. And this will do exactly the same thing as the previous one. The only difference is you're selecting just the offline and the online column, which is the first column. Now delete this step. Now we will do it the third way. So select Asia, press shift, select Sub-Saharan Africa. So all the columns are selected. Go to the transform tab, go to unpivot columns, select unpivot only selected columns. And now the data is unpivoted again. The only difference between these three are unpivot columns and unpivot only selected columns are the same. The only difference is unpivot other columns is you're selecting only the column that you don't want to get unpivoted. Click on home, select close and load to. Select only create connection, press OK. Let's define what is pivot data. Pivot transformation allows user to reshape the data by turning unique values in a specified column into new column and aggregating the data in other column. Pivot helps to widen data to build a report or a table. Go to the Pivot tab. Click anywhere on the table. Go to Data. Select from Table Range. Now the data is loaded into Power Query. We want to transform all the data in the region from rows to columns. So select Region. Go to the transform tab, select pivot column, select the value that needs to be pivoted. In this case, it's going to be total unit sold. So select the drop down and select total unit sold. Go to the advanced option. This gives you the option that how you want to aggregate the data. You can choose one of these options, but in our case, the data is already aggregated. So we will select don't aggregate. Press OK. And as you see, now the data is converted from rows to region. Every region has its own column by offline and online. 
Thank you for watching the video and if you found this video to be helpful, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so next time when I drop a video, YouTube can notify you.